Hello, in this video I will show you how to upload an image to the Google Drive service and how to show this image to in your website. Okay, the image that I will upload is this one. So the first step we need to make some configurations uh, first I want to show you that my Google Drive is empty and the first configuration we need to do is in the Google Cloud platform okay we go to the console and the first time when you go to console it maybe will ask you your credit card information okay but if you use only the google drive the only 15 gigabytes free the service will not charge you, okay? Just in case, in the future, if you want some upgrade, it requires the, the your credit card to charge you, okay? But if you keep just the 15 gigabytes, it's free, okay? The first step, we need to create a project. So you click here, click in new project, I will call this project Google Drive API. Okay, click in create. Let's wait just a second. Okay, the project has been created. The next step is create the credential. So you can mouse over API service credentials up here clicking create credentials service account so you give a name for it I will call it Google Drive okay create continue continue done Okay, so we go to the credential that has been created and we need to create a key, a JSON key, okay? To do this, you we click in keys, add key, create a new key, JSON, create, and you'll be able to make the download, so I'll pause the video. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the JSON file that I made the download. We have some information key. The name is very similar. I will change the name to Google Key. Google Key is a good name. Okay, let's go back to the Google Cloud platform the Google Cloud Council, let's close it, okay? The next step, we need to enable the Google Drive. So we need to search for library. You can type here library, or if you go back, go back again, you can see library here. You search for Google Drive API, click, Select Google Drive API in the list. Okay, and enabled. Okay, the configuration, the Google Cloud Platform is done, but we need to make some configurations in the Google Drive. So I go back to my Google Drive. Let's create a folder. I will call it Uploads. Uploads. Okay. The next thing we need to do is turn it public. So right click, share, 
click here in change to anyone with the link so we will make it public to everyone just to see the files okay so click and done the next step we need to add our credential as an editor to make this we need the email of our credential and to get the email of our credential you go back to our project and in our JSON file we have this field called client email and this email here so you select this ctrl c go back to your google drive right click share add the email here keep it like editor and click and send okay the configuration is done but we need to get an information we need the id of this folder that has been created so to do this you double click here and in the url you can see at the end the id of this folder so ctrl c go back to your project okay let's close the json file and here you can create the first variable the name let's see google api folder id is a string with the id of our folder folder okay we need some libraries to make it possible so we need to install a library called google apis okay but i will guess i will get the latest version let's wait a couple seconds okay it's done from now on it's just programming so i will import the libraries that i need to make it possible the first one is the file system so require file system the next one is the google that we install install it so we require google apis okay so we can start by creating a, an async function called oops function upload file okay let's make a try catch try catch in case of error we will make a console log okay upload file error let's console log the error okay but to make it po make it possible we need to declare some variables the first one is the authentication that use a new google auth google auth and it requires at as an argument and object the first information of the object the of this object is the file the file is the json that we did the download so you put here the path in this case google key json okay the other information is the scope. The scope defines the level of access that you have in your Google Drive account. So if you put this http slash less the www dot Google APIs dot com slash alf 
slash drive, you have full access to your Google Drive account, okay? The next variable, we need the service of the Google Drive. So drive service equals Google dot drive. We need an object with a couple information. The first one is the version. We are using the version three and the authentication as well. Okay. The next information is the metadata. The metadata contains the information of the file that we are making the upload. So const file metadata. It's an object that has two fields. The first one, first one is the name of the file, okay? The name of the file is not necessarily this name. We are uploading this image, by the way, is not necessarily this name. Okay, so this is the name that it, the name of the file in the Google Drive. Okay, so I will call it snowplace.jpg. The next information is the folder which folder we are using to store the file and we use this id this id that we made the copy before so we just put here the id okay the ne next information is the media what kind of media and which file we are uploading. So the first information is the MIME type. The MIME type is what kind of file, in this case, an image, JPG. The second information is the body. It requires the string of the file, in this case, file system dot create read string. In which file we put here the file path in this case snow jpg that is this file here that i'm doing the i'm making the upload okay and finally we create the request so we create we declare a response of the request okay I wait because it is asynchronous drive service is the serve that we create here up to do to Google Drive. Okay. Dot files dot create and it needs some informations. The first one is the resource with resource the meta metadata. The second information is the media. And the final information is what field we need as a response. In this case, we need the ID. Okay, and I will show you why. We return this ID. So response.data.id. Okay and yeah the function is done so what we need to do is call it so right here we call the function upload file as it's asynchronous so we call then and here we have the data the data is the id that we are returning oops sorry is the ID that we are we are returning so data let's first console log this data okay so let's let, let let me go back to the Google Drive as you can see my folder is empty so let's call 
the our project, our function, so node app.js, and let's wait for some seconds. Okay, we have an error. Invalid credentials. <clears throat> okay, the error says that I don't have authorization. So I took a look in my code and I made some mistakes. The first one is that it's not scope, it's scopes and it's not HTTPS, it's HTTPS. It's not HTTP, it's HTTPS, okay? And finally, it's parents, it's not just parent, parents. Okay, so let's save the file and run our application. Okay, it's giving me an ID. If you check the Google Drive, you can see that the upload has been successful. And going back to our application, we have this ID. So in your website, if you use this URL, not this one, this prefix here, okay? And if you put this ID here, you can see the image. So it's, import it's important for you to save this ID in your database and give to the user in your website or in your mobile app this URL, okay? So it's working, it's working. Uh, I hope that this code, this video can you ha help you out, okay? So we learned how to upload and use the image files and how to make the configuration in the Google Cloud platform in, in the Google Drive. So leave a like it, click the like button and see ya.